faculty in the CSA department and broadly speaking my area of research is theoretical cryptography. I did my undergrad at IIT Kanpur uh, and after that I went to the University of Texas in Austin at, uh, for grad school and then for a couple of years I was in Israel as a postdoc at the Weizmann Institute of Science. As I mentioned uh, my area of research is uh, cryptography. Cryptography today is uh, so much more than just uh, encryption or signatures. Uh, uh, as technology progresses, it puts forth new cryptographic challenges. Uh, for instance, today uh, we want to compute over encrypted data. Uh, we want to offload our computation to the cloud and uh, we want to do this in a secure manner. The cloud should not be able to figure out what program you're running. So all these are technical or all these are cryptographic challenges that uh, we didn't care so much about uh, 20, 30 years ago. Um, and uh, it turns out uh, that these and uh, many other, almost almost all uh, cryptographic problems can be solved using one big hammer uh, that's called code obfuscation. And this has been the focus of my research over the last few years. Um, so the goal of code obfuscation is to compile code in such a manner that it's hard to reverse engineer the compilation. So let me explain that uh, using a toy example. So let's say you have a fantastic uh, software product you want to sell this to everyone, uh, but you don't want people to figure out the underlying source code. Okay, or let's say uh, there's some sensitive information in your code, and you want people to be able to, to be able to run this code, but they should not learn this sensitive information. So this is where code obfuscation would come in. Uh, what you do is you would uh, program uh, mm, this software product in your favorite programming language, and uh, and then you would run uh, this uh, code obfuscation on top of uh, on top of so the compiler gives a uh, gives the obfuscated program, which can then be run by any party, and at the same time, it guarantees that uh, all the underlying um, secrets are hidden. Now, uh, one thing that I want to point out is uh, when you give out the uh, obfuscated code to the adversary, the adversary can not only run it on uh, inputs; it can also run it on uh, malicious inputs. It can also run it halfway through and then uh, look at the state of your machine. So these are th some things that the adversary can do, and this is the reason why this problem has been very challenging. And as I mentioned, uh, if you could have code obfuscation, then uh, you could achieve almost everything in cryptography, at least in theory. And uh, the main focus of my work initially was uh, understanding the power of this primitive, and later it shifted towards uh, building this primitive. So there has been tremendous progress uh, towards this problem uh, in the last 10 years uh, and since 2012, and especially so in the last two, three years. Mm. And uh, But there's still a lot to be done, and I guess that's where you guys come in. Um, other than this, I'm also interested in quantum cryptography, which is, again, similar to cryptography, except now you're working with uh, qubits instead of, uh, instead of regular bits. Outside of work, uh, I enjoy playing squash and uh, other outdoor activities such as uh, hiking and cycling. Thank you. Bye.